Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly's. It is kind of a gloomy day out there, you guys. <laughs> I am planning on going for a nice little morning stroll and a cup of coffee with a friend. Thought I would clear my deck in front of you so you can see. This is Palo Santos. I get it from a spiritual shop locally. So I thought I'd say a few things before I get started on this Lilibet spread. Let's find out how the birth mother's doing and how uh, Lil Lily herself is doing. So that's what I want to talk about today. Um, first, though, before I say it, I want to say that um, it's really interesting uh, science that's coming in uh, now. It was something I saw on Dr. Romani's channel, and it is basically about stringing words together. Um, the science was taking uh, various people who were known narcissists versus uh, people who were not diagnosed, separating them, showing them a string of words that were extremely negative, and seeing how it affected their brains. Um, the, the narcissists were triggered. Uh, it could be just str a string of words. It was just, you know, anything that had a negative vibe, negative connotation to it, really put the narcissist brain into a panic mode. Um, I guess they saw it on MRI, MRI even, um, and their behavior as well. Um, so it's just really fascinating that in a conversation, um, if there's a, a lot of negative words strung together that may not even be geared or attacked at them or pointed towards them, like you're saying it about them, they will get grumpy. They will get... Uh, they want to flee. They want to get out of the situation. They don't want to talk. They don't want to converse. It, it makes their brain freak out because what it does is it triggers that inner shame uh, from being a child being wounded by the caretaker. Uh, most likely they were neglected and had a lot of shame-based parenting where the parent was hoovering over the child, micromanaging, nitpicking, and the child would always walk on eggshells and this hoovering and shaming uh, with these negative string of words just really puts them off. So what is my little nasty trick? <laughs> if you want to know if someone's a narcissist, that is one way to find out. <laughs> pick a subject like politics, pick a some, something, don't attack them, put in a bunch of negative string of words together. Uh, they will reveal themselves apparently. Just a nice new little tidbit. <laughs> uh, as H.G. Tudor says, uh, narcissists don't like his channel. Uh, they want to get the hell out of there. They do not, they are not interested in the subject. And it is because there's a negative string of words being put together to describe them. I'm sorry, it's not fluffy. It's not fluffy. It's not sweet. There's no, no rose tinted glasses on on this channel. Uh, it's just a, the hard, cold, logical facts that that are hard to swallow okay they're just it's just hard to swallow um, but for your narcissist those 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 negative string of words uh is really something they cannot cope with and uh, you will you will hear that coming from uh, not the negative string of words coming from hg tutor but you will hear him talk about how um how their behavior is um when it comes to they feel like they're always attacked you know they're 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 they are in uh, an attack mode constantly it's just buried under their smile, behind the smile. Um, so anyways, just got to put that out there. <laughs> you know, um, what other way you can find out if someone's a narcissist? Well, one way is, you know, they, uh, they're always described as uh, the difficult individual in the family. Oh, she's just difficult. He's just difficult. Uh, the other des description uh, they say is uh, antagonistic. They're very anti you know, they like to pick fights. Those are your two main indicators. That will give you a, enough red flag to know if you should stay away from someone. Um, so that is the other thing. So here we go. I like to try and educate you to protect yourself. Uh, I know it's not um, hippy-dippy. I know it doesn't sound fluffy and fun. <laughs> I would like to be that, but that's not why I started my channel. I started my channel because I wanted to discuss Markle and her NPD. That was my, my whole reason for doing this. So here we go. Let's get Lilibet. How is she doing? How is Lilibet doing? How is Lilibet doing? 
Spirit guides and angels, please be clear. How is Miss Lilibet? I do like the name now, you guys. It's really wearing on me. I think it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> I do. I think it's adorable. Here we go. So how is she? How is she? How is Miss Lilibet? I don't know how old she would be right now. I have not been calculating that. Maybe one of you guys can tell me. Here we go. How is she doing? Well, there we go. This is what I was kind of afraid to see this one. Teamwork expansion. So the team is probably working on uh, finalizing the adoption. That's my first feeling on this. Yeah. The will. So basically everything's coming to full completion with harmony. The Ace of Wands in reverse in, the, in this position here. That is uh, basically this here upright would be enthusiasm, excitement, enthusiasm to do it. She's not enthusiastic to do it. The mother is not enthusiastic. She lost her enthusiasm. She did not want to turn over the child is what we have been hearing. Not only am I getting it in the cards, I've been hearing it on the other channels as well from leakage, things that are leaking out. Uh, trust me, I hear it. And because it's a partnership, it's a duality, it came from her body. Um, and that was part of her. It's part of her. Uh, that's how you feel when you carry a child. It, they feel like they're very much part of you, feeling that life in you. And she, she's fearing the judgment. You know, she doesn't feel this is her karmic thing. The judgment in reverse is she's having serious doubts. Uh, this is not something she wants to do anymore. She's got so much self-doubt and inner critic going on. Um, I think personally she's having a little meltdown. Uh, she's very, very, uh, she's regretting the decision. She's regretting it, but I think they're going to hold her to it legally is I think what's personally how I feel. I think they're going to strong, strong, strong hold her, uh, but we will find out. Yeah, four wall structure. It's very solid deal right now. It's become very solid. And I would say at this point in time, uh, they have her. They have her now. Stability. It's the home card for me. So yes, Megan and Harry have Lilibet now. I really feel they do. And the mother here is not knowing what her path is now. She does not know where she, she's, what she's going to do now. She does not want to look at it. She doesn't want to explore those dark thoughts. Even though she is exploring her dark thoughts because of the judgment in reverse, she doesn't want to reflect with the hermit in reverse. It was an unwise decision because upright, the hermit is, is the wise old man. She feels now at this point in time, it was the dumbest thing she could have done. She really regrets it. Under the surface, She's leaving. She's going to go leave stormy waters. This is sort of kind of like leaving a stormy waters kind of thing. Um, she's, she's got an action to overcome. And it's very, very emotional. Very, very emotional. Lots of mountains to climb. Lots of tears and floods to get through. Uh, ah, my heart breaks for this girl. She's going to have to overcome it. And she knows it now. Oh, God. It's terrible. Okay, let's get the center card here. And she has to shut down this love. She doesn't have the child anymore. The emotional bond in reverse. She's not going to ever be able to bond with her child now. It's over. Oh, that's sad. I don't, she doesn't, she didn't want to do it, you guys. She wanted to back out. She wanted to back out. She didn't like Markle. The gossip, the, the leakage that's coming out is they, uh, they, Harry and Meghan, offended her in some way, and she wanted to pull out, and it, she, it shows. She regrets it. She regrets it. She regrets it. They have her now. So, yeah. Okay, so that's what's happening with Lilibet. They have her. It is now official. So, let's get how... Um, how the actual child's doing, because that was really about the mother. How is the mother doing? How is she? Well, that was about, excuse me, <laughs> I'm getting a little brain fart here. Well, that actually was more about her. How is the baby? Yes, how is the baby? How is she doing in their care? That is my question. Sorry, got to clear my own mind. My, ugh. 
Okay, I need more coffee too, you guys. I had my coffee to the side and I've only had about a quarter cup. I was too excited to start my spread this morning. Since I'm gonna be out and about doing things, I'm kind of feeling upbeat about being outside, smelling some fresh air. I like cool days. It's actually cooler weather here. And that's my kind of weather, you guys. I do not like the heat. So it's my kind of day. <laughs> All right, so how is she doing in their care? How is she doing in their care? How is it coming out? How is it coming out? How is it coming out with her there? Well, there we go. Well, that came out. I'm gonna put it back because I didn't shuffle very much. I just had that card, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. There we go. That was, that fell out. That is it. That is it. How are they feeling? Knight of Cups in reverse, oof. Harry's not bonding. Harry's having a hard time bonding right now. Harry does not have the just do it attitude. I've gotten this before with him uh, where he was not on board. He was not feeling like he really wanted to go through with it. And it's because it's not his child and it's not a true royal baby and he knows that he's lying. He's having some struggles with lying. He's conflicted. He's becoming conflicted with himself and his own behavior. Even though he keeps doing what he's expected to do, he's conflicted. And that's really how I feel about it. Uh, yes, because it's mentally he's challenging. He's, he's at, his mind is at a, in a battle right now. He's in a battle zone. And literally in a battle zone because Markle had that blowout fight with her mother in, in the nursery and, and uh, Doria fleeing in a bucket of tears where Megan had dry eyes. Um, so, yeah, he wants to escape because there's so many challenges. He, that's where they're also leaking out saying he's going to go to the UK uh, several days before the unveiling because he needs to escape the, the drama going on in the home. And we have the high priestess in reverse in the, bat, in the past position. Um, so he knows he doesn't have any secrets. He doesn't hold any secrets. He doesn't want to probably reveal the secrets, but this is the secret card, the high priestess. The high priestess has lots of secrets. Um, and in reverse, it's being disconnected. It's being a bit disconnected from it. And probably this disconnect, feeling disconnected from the lies, quite possibly he may want to stop doing it, hopefully, but that's basically what this card means. It's, it's being disconnected from the lies. He's having a hard time with the lies. They're becoming too much because it's been a, a building process of lies within the union and it's, it's too much. He's, he's overwhelmed with lies. Yeah, he knows he's not truly helping anybody. And he knows he's not getting any help from his family because of the lies. The giving and receiving help in reverse. Uh, and it's a six, harmony in reverse. He does not feel harmonious with the lies. He's struggling. So this becomes about Harry. That's the thing with Tara. I don't know who's going to pop up in my spread, but it's really discussing Harry at this point in time. He's the one struggling. Megan doesn't struggle. It's Harry that's struggling. Yes, because of her Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords can be uh, the harshest female in the deck. Uh, she's very she's very cutting with her words. Um, she's very self-sufficient with her words. She will say exactly what she's thinking, and there are no rose-tinted glasses with this woman. <laughs> she will tell you everything that you don't want to hear. Uh, and she is probably using very cutting words towards Harry. She's probably telling him she's going to be self-sufficient. I don't care if you like this or not. I don't need you. You will not be needed. If you want to cut out, you can cut out. I will not be needing you because I, am a, I will be a self-sufficient uh, queen of pentacles and queen of swords woman. And I also will be a queen of wands woman. Don't you know who you're talking to? So she is telling him what a queen she is, basically that she's going to have it all. And I don't, I will not be needing you if this, how you, if this is how you feel, we can cut you out. Literally, that's what she's telling him. I can cut you out. Uh, when she goes into this position, she's most likely going to do it, okay? But here, she's trying to be patient right now and, and be very direct. She's being very forthright and very direct in her words with him right now. 
And she's like, I know the problems and struggles we have. I know the ego we have, the, the lobster's the ego. I know we have heavy emotions here. And I know we have a lot of mountains to climb, a lot of difficulties, but I can cut you out. I will cut you out if I have to. <laughs> the outcome, the outcome for this, oh, it's going to be brokenhearted for all of us if you do that, Harry. If you cannot handle this, we will all suffer, is what she's telling him. Under the surface, you won't be such a loss to lose you either. It's not such a loss, Harry. Get a grip. There's no conflicts. It's only in your mind. It's your mind that's conflicted. I'm not conflicted here. You shouldn't either be conflicted. That's how I feel. That's a projection there. And you need to just do it. You need to just have that just do it attitude like me. You need to be like me, Harry. I'm the queen of, of swords. You need to be the knight of swords. And you need to have the just do it attitude, Harry. And you need to be ready to act. And you need to be forceful. You need to be the go-getter that I need you to be as a husband. I need you to be very intentional with your words now, Harry. I need you to communicate your words um, like me. I need you to mirror me. You need to be the mirror image of me um, because that's what's expected. And this is narcissism right here. I need you to mirror my words. Um, you must mirror me. If you do not mirror me, you will be cut out. You will be cut out and there will be a triangulation, a broken heart of all of us. You, we will miss you. We will miss you. We know our problems and struggles. If you can't handle it, you're done. Yeah, it's very direct here, you guys. It's very direct. This is total mirroring. She's telling him, you have to mirror me. That's what's happening under the roof with baby Lilibet. I wished it could have been more about the child and her well-being, but it ends up being about the adults and the struggles with the adults because she's in peace. She is, she's an innocent mind. Um, and so the energies, she's, luckily, I don't think she's obviously picking up the energies, but I'm going to be direct and I'm going to ask, is she picking up the negative energies? Is Lilibet picking up the negative energies of her parent of, of Megan and Harry? Uh, that would be the next concern. Um, hopefully, they keep that nursery room door closed, and she's not hearing the battles uh, with an earshot, so that she's not uh, traumatized on a subconscious level. That would be my concern because they do get traumatized on a subconscious level, and they do start acting out consciously, uh, and then people don't know why. Uh, it's because it's been this buried memory that even the child's not aware of. So how is, is Lilibet picking up the negative energies within earshot? Is she picking up? Okay, so that came out. So yes, yeah, she is. She's hearing something. She is hearing some battles. She's hearing the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I'm only going to pull a few here. And the, and the, and the rock, but the, yeah, the challenges here. Yeah, she is. She is hearing it. I'm going to get under the surface. Wow. She hears Harry. That came from under the deck. She hears her dad yelling at, at uh, Megan. Or, yeah, it's not her adopted dad. And the, par the partnership, yeah. She, she's hearing it. She's getting, she's getting some, some information coming in. Um, she's hearing the, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is is a very dependent female but any queen in reverse gets to be a very nasty queen that's where the nasty negative energies come out uh, the negative behavior uh, the lashing out behavior uh, they're not that supportive energy in the up like they are when they're in the upright position uh, so she's not being supported she doesn't feel supported um, she's not feeling bonded with Markle because it's in reverse. Markle has not bonded with her. There's no bonding process going on right now. She has not held her enough. <clears throat> They're not, they're, she, she has not connected with her. There's no connection yet. There, the connection's not there yet. And uh, the child's feeling like a burden with the Ten of, ten of Wands um, and oppression. 
So the child's not feeling uh, connected right now. That's sad. Wow. And it has, she is hearing Harry with his words, with the Knight of Swords. And uh, it has everything to do with the partnership. So they have so many marriage issues. This poor child is going to hear all of it uh, and absorb it. So she's already absorbing it now, even in a big mansion. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to say anything more because I don't want to sound like I'm being horrible. <laughs> I feel like my words are horrible enough with my negative string of words to trigger people. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Back to that. Okay. All right, so how is, I want to do a checkup. How's Doria doing? You know, she just got discarded by her daughter. How is Doria doing today? How is Doria doing today from being discarded? How is Doria doing? How is Doria hanging in there? How is Doria, please be clear. How is Doria doing? Doria is definitely not in the home. She left the home. She got thrown out by, Ma by Megan. She got judged harshly. Very harshly, cause and effect. So that's why she knows that. And she's no longer working for her because she was supposed to be the nanny. And that's sticking out. I will take it. And she, King of Cups, uh, emotional. She felt like she was an emotional leader, a loving, nurturing, emotional leader for them. And that position's been taken off away from her. Uh, cause and effect happened due to her daughter's uh, mental pathology and they she threw her out of the house is what that's reading so she's emo she's emotional she she lost her she lost that position in and markle's life of being that king of cups she was sort of a you know a father and a mother uh to megan at least that's how she's coming here she's her energy is I was a mom and a dad in, in many respects because she was such a support measure. She tried to really be that, that leadership uh, for Megan. She really tried to help lead Megan because uh, any king of cups is a total leader. Uh, very supportive, very supportive, very emotional. So she's feeling, she still is supportive and she's still emotional, but she lost her position. Uh, under the surface, she was hoping for total abundance. She was hoping for total fulfillment is what she was hoping for. That's um, under the surface, under the deck, in the center of the deck. What I have here is four of cups in reverse. She was contented. At one time, she, she was contented doing it, but something, there was some, it wasn't good enough for Markle. It wasn't good enough. Um, because she did not have the conflict, the conflicted mind. It's her daughter that had the conflicted mind. Because upright, that cup is that 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 card is boredom. You know, she wasn't bored being there. She wasn't bored um, looking after a little bit. She wasn't bored being an emotional support measure. Megan got bored of her. Is what I'm feeling. Megan got so bored of her that she discarded her. That happens too. When the narcissist gets bored of their appliance and they feel they use their appliance to their full effect and they get bored with you, they'll throw you out of their life. And that's what she did. Megan, she's saying here, Megan got bored of me because she's so abundant, she threw me out. She judged me and didn't think that I was worth paying or having around, and it wouldn't be worth having me around, because she and decided she didn't want my leadership. That's how that reads. Yeah. All right, you guys, that should do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, cheers. I'm gonna finish my coffee now, and it matches my my thing here. All right, you guys, toodles. Bye. Like and subscribe.